Welcome to the Movement Center and welcome to the push-up series. Where we take a look at just how to do a proper push-up, the common mistakes that we see, the fixes, so that you can move like you mean it. What is up guys, welcome to episode six, part two of the lumbar sack. This is where we're looking at kind of the problem that we see with people overextending an arch. So if you haven't watched part one, now we're talking about flexibility of the hip flexors and the glutes. Now we're talking about progressing this into the actual push-up position. So we're gonna have Christina go down into a four-point stance. Now from here what we want to do is this is really important to learn how to find neutral spine. A lot of people are like, what the heck does that mean? So what that means is find the point between really, really arch, as far as she can extend forwards, and as far as she can go this way, and finding the middle between the two. And once you can learn how to find that position, maybe we'll put up a video of exactly like how to do this from our library as well. We then want to engage our core, and stabilize, engage our glutes, and stabilize here. Her neck is obviously in a good position. She's doing great there. Her shoulders are awesome. And from here, the progression is then holding this plank while she slowly extends one leg into a push-up position. So she comes down and gets ready as if she's about to go up into her push-up, but she doesn't. And she's not that awesome yet, right? And then she's going to bring the other leg back, perfect, and then try her other one. And she's trying to get very little in, uh, poor movement. The wrong thing to do would be this, right? You don't want her to sag as she comes out. She comes back. In, perfect. And so she's going to engage her nice and strong. Show us two good reps there, Christina. So she's here, engaged, leg goes back, perfect. She comes back up, other side, she's engaged. If I were to poke test her, she is engaged and solid. She comes back down, perfect. And that is how we do that progression. Now to challenge this to another level, we then put her in a full plank. So once you've mastered that, she can engage from here. Her glutes are now engaged. Now rather than moving her lower body, what we're going to do now is move her upper body and stabilize. Now her shoulder blades have to stabilize, her rotation has to stabilize. And so from here, she's going to do what we call shoulder taps. So you're going to go one side here, one side here, stabilizing. And she's not, she's doing that really well. She's not, I'm going to make you do this wrong, Christina. She's not dropping as she does it. So go ahead. Or that, yeah, exactly. She's not opening up her hips. She's staying nice and engaged. She's not sagging. Show us the wrong one again. Right into that position and hang out. She's getting nice and engaged. Boom. Solid. Glutes are on as she taps side to side. All right. So that is part two of that to take care of that lumbar sag position. Nice work. Good, awesome. So again, the progression for that, guys, is you're going into your neutral core, find that first, adding leg movement, and then adding arm movement. And from there, if you can hold that, you're probably pretty good to start moving into your full push-up positions. Okay, if you have any questions about that, let us know. Our next episode, or kind of final episode there, will be on neck, uh, oh, sorry, we'll be on toe position, and that kind of how that, that, that responds to what's going on, which is a pretty important one as well. If you have any questions about that, let us know. Subscribe, move like you mean it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.